I just want to thank all of you, eh? my brothers here. I want to thank all of you, starting with our chairman, Ishi, eh? for what you people are doing here in Soko. For everybody where they here, eh? this is now a project. We're going to protect them with anything we want to get. No university will go there like this. No before Nigeria or for Africa. Jump! On my children, nothing will compare to this university. Children, eh? yes. Now this school they will go. Hey! 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 We go already by next week. The many buildings will start. Hey, Two thousand people go to work for here. Hey, hey, we don't want security problems. No way! Hey! No way! No security problems. Don't shoot me! 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 This video you are seeing here, it's about Hubbard Wigwe, this 57 years old Nigerian that died in California, a businessman, and he is the owner of Wigwe University. This is a university that was launched 2023, just last year. Okay, and this is February 2024, and this man is nowhere to be found. I just want us to look at some certain things because I can see a lot of story already on social media. This man passed on with his wife, his son, and, um, and yes, with another businessman as well. But this man is currently trending because of how pathetic his own story is. Because how can somebody die with the son, the wife, like? The husband, three of them just died. Though I read some comments in my previous post that said that it is not the whole family and I stand to be corrected, okay? Someone is saying that it's not the whole family, but I saw the news elsewhere that it is the whole family. I just pray and hope that it's actually not the whole family. So this was this man last year when he visited his community people, I mean his villagers in Isiobe in River State, Nigeria. He visited these people and he talked about his university, which is known as Wigwe University. This university, like I said earlier, it was launched 2023. Okay, so probably this is this school is under one year. Okay, he visited his community people, telling them that this is his own way of giving back to the society. That this university is going to be the best in Nigeria, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. Is going to put in everything that will make this uh, university the best of standard and he promised his community people that he's going to bring out his best in this university to train his village people to 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 train his own people okay to bring out the best in his people and just under one year after launching this university this man died in a very miserable way died in aircraft with his beautiful wife and son Shizzy. and a lot of people are saying like that it, it's always um better when you make it in this life no they to show up in your village yes i don't know if it is a kind of myth okay most time most people i even know people that this thing has happened to me. when you feel like you are not very rich you are not very like you have the money once they go to the village to go and do a particular project, I mean, well-known project, you see these people, they will start going down. So some people, when they go to the village after so many years of staying in the city and they're doing fine, once they go to the village to do a particular project, especially when it comes to building, investing in the village, once they do it, you will see them, they will start going down. They will start facing a lot of challenges. They will start facing a lot of temptations. They will start seeing a lot of hardship. Some of them that built home in the village. Since after that project, they did not go to the village again. Some of them 
after building in the village, they went back to square one. They started burying to stand on their feet again. Why is it like this? I'm just making this video to ask Christians, why is it like that? Because I do believe that this is a kind of myth, but we are seeing it. It is real. This man didn't die all this way, but immediately he went to his village to build a big school for his village people, university, promising to bring out the best in his people in that school. That is when he died in aircraft. Why? That is when he died in that helicopter. He didn't just die, but die alongside with his wife, with his son. Do you think it's ordinary? A lot of people today, they do not go to the village. I'm not saying that going to the village is bad. But there are still, but there are some kind of families that they are just so wicked. Some people are just so bitter. They don't want you, like some people don't want to see another person's child progressing more than their own child. But you don't know that all fingers are not in core. There is no way. Even the children, you as a parent, even the children you gave birth to, all of them will not be equal. Some will be bigger than some, some will be smaller, some will be bigger. What matters is that they should be able to feed by themselves without having to beg. People are saying that if this man had not gone to the village to go and do that, his university project in his community, he would have survived. But going to that village to go and build a university in the village, it goes with a lot of temptations. And that is how they were able to bring him down. Me, I don't know. I don't know what you think. But do you, you as a person, do you believe that going to the village to make a big project actually brings a lot of challenges if you believe if it has happened to you tell us in the comment section because every day we are learning i see a lot of comments and i feel like making a video about it i've seen people that it actually happened to after going to the village to build houses build uh, schools build this they come back to the city and start begging people had to take loans from back just to stand up again if it has ever happened to you why don't you share it in the comment section of course i'll see you guys on my next one and for our brother Herbert Wigwe, may his soul rest in perfect peace.